Um, guys, the first question I wanted to ask both of you uh, about Wolf was how... I suppose, like, I mean, I know there's that, that thing of, like, physical theatre and the idea of, like, you know, inhabiting an animal and then trying to portray that realistically on stage or on screen, obviously. What was the direction you got from Natalie about that? Or was there any kind of direction about it? Or was it a case of just you finding it yourselves? Or how did it work? Yeah, it was really interesting. We, we all had quite a different uh, kind of rehearsal process with Terry Notary, who was our, <coughs> our movement coordinator. So um, we kind of had different... Um, obviously it was specific to the, yeah, the animal yeah, that course, you, were, yeah. you were playing but um, yeah we all had very kind of different um, sessions with him and, and uh, uh, some of the movement maybe a little bit harder <laughs> than um, uh, others um, but I think your movement was pretty straightforward uh, yeah. but uh, yeah but, um, but yeah it was, it was really amazing getting to, to work with them also I think um, like I had heard from a lot of people who um went to drama school that, that that's like something that yeah. that most drama schools do. I I'd, I hadn't been so I'd never done anything right. like that before so it was really cool getting to uh, yeah getting the chance to do that did Terry go into any of the theatrical kind of side of it or was it just all about movement or uh, he is a, he is a very kind of specific way of working that isn't actually I, I don't know like it, it kind of feels strange calling him a movement coach because he does so much more than that yeah. and um yeah, he the way the way he works is kind of it's really hard to describe, but um, it's it isn't just um, yeah. movement. He he does lots of different things, and um, that, that's so cryptic. Anyway, um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it was amazing working with him, and and uh, yeah, I was a huge fan of his before. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. How about you know, you? Physically and 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 you know mentally and everything else, like um, it was great. We were working in the Marine Hotel with him and doing different sessions, and a lot of it was like physical and vocal there was like a cacophony of sound I'm sure some people were like who's playing the bagpipes downstairs there's all this <laughs> screaming um but yeah it was great to sort of explore that like um with him and he's he's very specific and, and tailored to that sort of thing so I think we were all very lucky to work with him yeah he also removes any kind of maybe um kind of apprehension or embarrassment that I was going to say yeah because yeah. I would think with something like this it can be I mean, obviously, the film is about identity and finding your identity. But even, even in that experience, the idea of like you know flapping your wings and mm -hmm. you're trying to believe that you believe this character. I mean, how did that all work? Well, I think um, you know George and Natalie led by example, and from the very first rehearsal, they just kind of threw themselves in wholeheartedly, and there was no kind of reservations or anything, and and that set the tone for everyone. So, to be honest, if 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 you kind of felt any embarrassment you would have been the outlier yeah because yeah. everyone just kind of yeah threw them threw themselves in and um i think natalie was a fish on the first uh, day <laughs> and um and we did all, all these kind of like icebreaker games and stuff like that and and uh, i think a four and a half hour improv on the first mm -hmm. on the first day so that was kind of um i think like george and i had like growled at each other before we had really had a full <laughs> conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. um but um but also what was great was because we were all isolating in a hotel, you'd do that during the day and then you could go back and kind of just Work on hang it. out. Yeah. And I mean, in that, in that because I mean, you're, you know, you're playing uh, a parrot and the idea is that you're repeating what everyone says, that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Was that, did that give you a chance to go more into performance and less into script? And obviously with you being a German shepherd and trying to win everyone's attention and win everyone's affection. I mean, yeah. the, the, the fact that you were playing a pirate and you were playing a German Shepherd, did that, I don't want to say make life easier, but like, did that kind of give you some sort of guidance, I guess, or something like that? Yeah, you I didn't have to learn any lines. Didn't have to learn any lines. Just, yeah. repeated. Good, just repeated everything. <laughs> um, no, it was really good because I think in the, the first two weeks of rehearsal and in the improvs, we were sort of able to find um, a lot of conflict um, between what the other people were trying to achieve and what the uh, sort of the personalities of the other animals. Um, and there was great conflict between our characters and we sort of figured out what worked and, and what didn't. And so, yeah, I think like everybody's, although everybody was playing an animal, like they have very specific personality types and, um, you know, their their psychological and, and personality things that link to that animal yeah. and, and specifically those things. So it was, it sort of all worked in those first yeah. two weeks. We found out sort of what the soup mix was. Hmm. How about you? Is that the same, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. And um, like you said, kind of uh, my character is kind of uh, vying for everyone's attention and affection. Yeah. 
um, of which I was getting none from from Lola. <laughs> um, but um, but yeah, it was it was just so interesting, kind of seeing how you know obviously we'd read the the script and, yeah. and, and all done our own work before arriving there, but there were lots of relationships that kind of arose out of the rehearsals that maybe you didn't expect from from reading it on the page, and then yeah. a lot of that made it into the the um, the, the finished uh, film that you yeah. that, that you see, which was. Uh, yeah, which was was really cool. But yeah, our our um, characters definitely had a, a more fractious uh, <laughs> relationship. They're kind of the opposite of, of yeah, one another. the opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, talk to me about like I suppose the um, the the reaction like from like, like I mean I know there's like the other kin community and mm-hmm. then you have the tra- and like and obviously the film is quite thinly veiled uh, it being about you know the trans community and conversion therapy and stuff like that. I'm just wondering has have you gotten any feedback? Have you had any kind of reaction from it i think what's interesting is that that was never something that we really discussed sort of like the um the allusion to the trans community and and conversion therapy and and stuff like that i can see why people would massively take that from it and you know i've been a non-binary person it's it's definitely something that maybe i thought of when when we were shooting the film but when we went in we were just talking about identity and authenticity and having the autonomy to live your life the way Mm. that you want so um, I think what's really great about the film is that anybody going to see it can can take something from it because those are quite universal things. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, finally, if you had to do it again and you had a choice of what animal you'd pick, what animal would you pick? Wolf. For, uh, wolf. <laughs> no, um, from the animals in the film? Just any animal. Oh, any animal. Any animal. You're like a fresh script. Goat. You're, you're, you, a goat. A goat? A goat. Why a goat? I love goats. Is it because like, they're so sure-footed? Like? Just love a goat. Always have, always will. Right. <laughs> How about you? Really touched a nerve. Um, <laughs> that was that really, question. you were like, you're like, yeah, I'm a goat. <laughs> Nothing else. But, uh, but, um, oh God, I'm, tr- what animal would I pick? I, I really, I, I, I don't want to pick another dog, but I did really. You can pick a dog, it's okay. But, but I played a dog, so maybe, I would say wolf, but. George's movement, I don't know if I'd be able to... Match that, to, or to the ma- abs. To ma- yeah, in fairness. Yeah. Actually, I definitely won't pick George, just based on that. <laughs> um, maybe um, a... Frog? No. Mm. Uh, actually, yeah. A frog? A f- no, a deer. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, maybe I a deer. I could see that. Yeah, because yeah, you have the jawline for it. Like, there you go. Kinda, yeah. That's not why I was saying it. <laughs> no, but I'm saying I'd he see it. You just wanted like, a compliment on the jawline. No, I could see it. Bones. I could see it. Like, you got jawline for days, like oh, a deer. Well, thank, like. well the, thank you. But the goat, though, I don't... The what goat, do you don't like, get about goats? They're fantastic. I mean, they're very sure-footed, but I'm just kind of like... Quite, uh, if, well, yeah, and I have Maybe the it's the Capricorn in me, I don't know. Ah, I see. Maybe we should have done the astrology <laughs> thing. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll leave it there. Awesome. Thank cool. you so Thank much. You. Thank you very much. No worries. <laughs> a goat though. Like <laughs> I'm running. I'm running. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. Do you want things to get worse for you? I have no human form. I have no human form.